What if you could ask questions and the answers your customers provided helped you understand their needs and also motivated them to take action? Let's see how this can happen by using the current versus desired situation gap model or simply the gap model. Here's how it works. First, ask questions that get people talking about their current situation. If possible, use what you learned during your preparation as a starting point. Continue asking current situation questions until you've gathered everything you need to know with regard to your solutions. When you feel you thoroughly understand their current situation, ask about their desired situation by saying something like, what goals do you have regarding your current situation? Or, how satisfied are you with the situation as it now exists? If they reveal a desire for change or unresolved challenges, continue to ask questions to learn more about their desired situation. Listen carefully, take notes, and encourage them to share as much as possible by saying something like, tell me more about that, or help me understand what you feel is getting in the way. When your customer describes a gap between their current situation and desired situation that is a significant issue for them, ask what the impact would be if the gap persists. In other words, if you stay where you are now, what would the consequences be? Finally, ask them what the benefits or rewards might be if they eliminate the gap and reach their desired state. This is a professional four-step conversation that helps people verbalize big picture initiatives or goals in a simple way. Asking these questions helps customers realize the breadth of their needs, including some they might otherwise not have identified. It also helps them visualize the impact of not taking action to address those needs. The GAP model can be applied to almost any type of sales situation. Using it will enable you to gain deeper understanding of your customers and will differentiate you from other salespeople. When you use it, you'll understand why more selling takes place in the interview than in any other step.